subscribe. Also, hit the bell button so you don't miss any videos. Hello everyone, it's me Waka. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very special video because we just got sponsored by Senpa. Isn't that amazing? This is the first time that I have ever worked with Senpop and I'm very very thankful. Thank you Senpop for sending me this box. I'm very very thankful and I cannot wait to try all of this. Thank you for supporting my channel, it really means a lot. Just like I said, we were sponsored by Senpop and what is Senpop? Senpop is a subscription box from Osaka, Japan. Senpop provides four different subscription boxes. One is ramen, stationeries, candies, and also a mix between ramen and sweets. All of the subscription boxes cost $27, except for the ramen and candies box. That one costs $22.50. It is free shipping and they ship worldwide. Besides having four categories, they also mentioned that they handpick every item and every month you get a different thing. So that is very, very exciting. Without any more waiting, let's check this box out. The first thing that you can see on the box is their cute pet. Her name is Luna. And did you know that she also has her own manga? It is on Instagram. If you're very curious to see, I'm gonna leave the link below. It's very, very cute. Before starting, I wanted to let you know that they asked me which box I was interested in. And I choose candies because, well, I love sugar and I love candies. Let's check it out. Are you ready? One, two. <laughs> oh, it's green inside. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, this is full. Oh, so cute. Here we have a thank you. Here on the back, you can see a sneak peek of their manga. They have a very cute art. Also, did I mention that Senpop is also part of the Sen Market brand? Sen Market is one of the most popular Japanese online store and proxy services. I'm very glad to know that they also provide um, this type of services. I also noticed that on this paper I got a code that I can use on my Sen Market if I make a new account, so that's very good. I've been wanting to get so many cute Japanese clothing because my channel is about kawaii fashion and everything from Japan. Over here we have a description of all the items that we receive on the box and I forgot to mention that this is from the month of June. This is way more than I expected. This is a lot of candies. Oh my gosh, it's so full. Let me show you. Can you see all that? <gasps> This one is from the brand of Kabaya. Meron Pan? Oh my gosh, I could read it. It says Meron Pan Mini. I cannot believe I read it. This is the first item, Meron Pan Mini version. Just love Japanese packaging. They're so nice. The description says, Meron Pan is called this way because of its shape, not because of its flavor. They are just delicious, slightly dry buns with a crispy sugar crust that is so good. These mini versions are perfect for snacking on. Yes! Oh, and I also like that they also came with a Ziploc. Now, it's time to test this out. I cannot believe that I'm gonna eat all of this on this video. Oh my gosh. Ooh, it smells nice. Oh, it looks like this. It's such a cute mini red. Here is how it looks on the back. Looks very crispy. Now it's time to test. Mmm. Oh, they're very good. Honestly, it tastes just like that. Melon and bread. Boom. It tastes sweet. Not overly sweet. You can also taste the crunchiness. These are very, very good. I really recommend this. The next item is... Boom! This is cola. I'm gonna say it right now, I'm not a fan of cola candies. I love Coca-Cola. I think these are like gummies. This looks very, very funny. I really love the presentation of this. Let's open. This is from the brand Meiji. Meiji is a very popular brand. Yeah, they are gummies. I just knew it. Oh my gosh, it smells just like cola. They came wrapped like this, which I really, really like. I don't have to open the whole thing just to get just one gummy. I really like that they have the cans, the small bottles and the big ones over here. The description says Cola Up. That's the name of this candy. A movie isn't the same without a big refreshing drink. 
yeah <laughs> but if you just eat a gummy version you will have to keep running to the bathroom nice <laughs> i wonder if both taste different because they are in different colors i just grabbed the big one now let's try something strange this one tastes a lot like cola but this one tastes a little bit with a hint of ginger if i am not mistaken that's that's how it tastes to me again i'm not a super fan of the cola but these gummies are not exactly bad even though they taste like cola so yeah not not bad not bad the next ones are this over here this is from the brand of caballa from the same brand as the first candies that i just showed you these are more like a tropical kind of candies you can see it right there they're like a version of tic tacs i will say to just open it right here oh my gosh it smells so good it smells like cotton candy oh. so these are called juice c fruit color balls these color balls are juicy and colorful it's fun to shake them around and eat them one at a time you can swallow this so make sure you keep them separate from the grape gum let's see oh these are hard i just taste the orange it tastes very orangey these are hard and crunchy each one of them has different flavors it all corresponds with each color what is the um papaya or something i think it's melon wow it tastes so good they all taste very very good i can say that the grape one has a very overwhelming taste just like they mentioned eat the grape one for last because it's very very overwhelming the next item is this one over here i already opened one of these before you know that i don't like mint flavors um these are waffles with the taste of mint this is the brand over here these are puka puka taijaki mint if you have tried our boxes before you may have had a different version of this monaka treat this minty fresh version is perfect for the season chocolate and mint is such a good pair don't you think i don't it looks like this it's very very crunchy man this is how it looks on the inside you get the idea waffle and mint yeah it's crunchy but again i'm not a fan of mint the next ones are this they're called pointful they look like jelly beans they are actually jelly beans <laughs> just right there the name is pointful drink mix these jelly bean looking candies are a bit chewier than you might expect this batch is flavored like japanese drinks such as cola cider or cedar white cola and lemon squash i've never tried lemon squash let's see let's try the blue one this is that's strong i think this is cedar or no i think this is white soda yeah white is white soda i'm really bad at guessing i don't like the blue one they all taste very different i don't know which one is my favorite i know that the white soda and the color ones are not my favorite <laughs> good to try the next item is this over here this is a small ice cream i always wanted to try this this is called caplico mini just like that so cool it says it's an ice cream cone that never melts this famous japanese treat has been around forever because it is fun to eat and tastes great oh it's broken mm. it doesn't look like an ice cream it came broken so i cannot show you how cute it will have looked like so on the inside it has chocolate inside the cone and on top it has well it had um the ice cream so let me try this bit Mmm, these are waffles with chocolate. This reminds me of something that I've eaten before, like Hanuta. It tastes just like that. They're very good. The cream is also very, very good. The next one is this one over here. Ice Ramona is the usual treat, but this one will cool your mouth down a bit. Perfect for a hot night, just like now. It has a very cute <laughs> penguin packaging, just like this. They are dissolving in my mouth. This tastes like something that I have tried before. It's so small. I don't feel the cool sensation. Tastes like something so familiar. It's just dissolved in my mouth. So that's, that's cool. Next one that we have over here, Pucho Ibaraki Melon. Pucho are a soft candy with interesting textures. These ones are flavored like the famous melon from Ibaraki Prefecture in Japan. It looks like this. Something that I really like 
on the description is that it tells you if it has gelatin, dairy, uh, soy so that's very very good it is green and you can see a dot right here it smells so nice these are good, very very chewy this is a perfect candy for chewing and it feels like I'm gonna be chewing for a while because it's very thick the next ones are these ones over here I just love this packaging this one is in blue and the one on the picture is purple the name of this is grape Pucci gum it's more fun than regular gum because it comes in a lot of little pieces and the package is built for you to play with it six variations in total and we got the blue one. Oh my god, there's some new characters here. That's so cute. This is the packaging. And over here you see some new characters. This is from the brand of Meiji. It opens on the side. Oh, they go through the dolphin's hole. They're so, so tiny. Mm, they're very tiny, tiny, tiny gum. I don't know the flavor of this, but I think this is like cedar, maybe. There's still more. We have a chocolate bar. Now this looks like sneaker. A little bit. I have never seen it before. This is from the brand Furuta. It's a Sequoia chocolate bar. This simple little chocolate treat may be small, but you can still share it with someone special. This is caramel chocolate. We have waffles. That's what can I see from the packaging. So let's try it out. Chocolate looks like this. It tastes like Kit Kat. So good. The only difference is in the chocolate. For some reason, Japanese chocolate tastes a little bit sweeter than regular American um, chocolate. But other than that, this is this is a Kit Kat. Like I think Japanese candies chocolate tastes more like cocoa powder than chocolate. If that makes sense. We have another one with waffles. I noticed that we got a lot of waffles on this box. And this one, it's so cute because we have Pikachu and Eevee. This is from the brand of Lotte, which I think this is from a supermarket. Packaging is very very cute. Pokemon wafers. Chocolate Pokemon snack with crispy wafers and a sweet taste. Comes with a collectible card inside. Which one did you catch? <gasps> really? <sighs> oh my gosh. I see the car. Let's see which one. Oh my god. Oh wait, the car is over here. Oh, this is a Pokemon that I actually don't know. I used to watch Pokemon like, you know, uh, the first ones up to, I don't know which generation, but this one I really don't know. And it's a shiny car. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool on the camera. And this is how the waffle looks. Time to test. Mm, it's so good like the waffle has a very good taste it has flavor and the chocolate is way better than the bar that i just ate right now it's so crunchy this is very very good this one is called vanilla cream cookies these type of cookies are very popular in japan they are sweet and crispy and so hard to stop eating this is a classic vanilla flavor make them last if you can dun, dun, dun. Aww. I love when they put the candies and stuff in different containers because I don't want to eat them all at the same time <sighs> It smells so good It has this very sweet bakery vanilla flavor These are very good They're very very crunchy And it has a cream inside but I don't know what is it Very very good I'm gonna say some for tomorrow We are almost there Two more items This one's a lot The next item is This one's over here These are lemon candies i'm not a fan of lemons i'm not a citrus person i'm more of a sweet person these ones are called bontan ame bontan ame is a traditional japanese candy ame means candy in japanese it has a lemon orange flavor with an outer layer of rice paper you can eat they come in tiny tiny cubes well wow. it actually doesn't have a strong orange and lemon taste which i did not expect this one is called ume sugar sundae a crispy rice cracker flavored with japanese plum and covered with chunky granulated sugar it is a simply and crunchy snack we think you love you can see the sugar on the cracker oh it smells so good oh this is hard It's not that sweet as I thought, but I like it. It has a balance of sweet and kind of salty. I don't know if that's me. Here's a look on the inside. It's very, very crunchy. It smells like soy sauce, but it tastes sweet. And the last item, which was the biggest one, is this one over here, which are popcorns. This is something that I like to eat a lot. <laughs> this is the packaging. These are from Frito Lays. I had no idea that they were in Japan. Mike show you buttered popcorn. Delicious popcorn with the umami mix of butter and shoyu, which is a soy sauce. 
Have you tried this flavor combo before? Yum. Oh, it smells so good. It just looks like a regular popcorn flavor. It's kind of hard to tell. I know that it says that it has the umami flavor, but I cannot really tell. To me, it tastes more like popcorn with butter. I cannot feel or taste umami. More like the salt and butter, but they're good. Like they're, they're popcorn. They're very good. Um, and that was everything on this box. I cannot believe that I got so much candies on this box. It was a lot. They were so, so good. So guys, what do you think about this box? Did you like Japanese candies? Have you tried? sample before please don't forget to leave comments it really means a lot and it helps me grow with my channel i always read your comments and i always reply as fast as i can so guys don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it so thank you again for watching and i hope to see you guys next time take care bye bye